Hello, card people. Today is a two-parter, but hopefully a brief two-parter. First part um, will be your advice on a card that I got back as min size. I didn't get it back as min size. I bought it as min size. I bought it as min size. I'll quickly do a, a little table of contents. Um, this card was bought min size. And there's a little room up top. And I have two other cards that are Gaudi cards. 1933 Gaudi cards to compare the size with. Should I submit this card possibly again? Iconic Al uh, posted when I when I showed that I had this uh, card. He posted in the in the video that um, based on the case that I had made uh, about the card that he thought you know this might be a card that would that may otherwise not grade as min size. That comment was him taking my word for things. So this is um, this will be less about taking my word for it and more about looking with your own eyes. I was thinking like a year ago, I was thinking we should have like a trade uh, community spreadsheet or something like that, or a Google Doc or something. Um, not, not a terribly high tech idea. If you just leave a document open to, for editing, then you know, who knows, who knows who's gonna do what. But if we, if only the people that we know and trust in this community uh, see it, touch it, which we can't really restrict, um, I think I'd feel good about it. But anyway, um, I have these two cards that I am interested in trading. And you might, you might say, but Doug, you're so well known for this Italian Ted Williams. This is, this is the card, not that I'm well known for anything, but this is the card that, you know, you had that great story about. This is not actually that card. And now I have two of these. This is my second one. I got a second one. Um, I couldn't resist. And then this is um, a card that I ended up getting another one of. So we'll look at those. And even if you're interested, it doesn't mean you're obligated. Um, I'm happy to chat with you. All right, so now let's turn this around and take a look at my uh, 1933 Gaudi Melot. I mean, see about the min size. You got you have to behold this beautiful sight here. And there's a Candyland game in process, so um, you know not to disrupt. Uh, I need so this is this is this is the action that's going on in this house, and I'm relegated to this room right now. So let's take a look. All right, let's start with the Rogers Hornsby. Now this card is snug, and I'll show you here that it's snug. So this is a one. And just look at the back just for just for fun. And then I'll we'll take a look. This is the top here. It is very snug up top. Sides, a little bit of space. Bottoms, snug, sides, a little bit of space. Alright. Now let's look at the Hack Wilson. All right, now there's more space. There's more space here. More space here up top. Noticeably more space. The sides, a little bit of space. Seems like a smaller card slightly. But seems like it must be a smaller card, at least within, that's okay, at least within SGC standards. And we'll look at the back just for fun. And now the card in question. Here we have the authentic but min size. Okay. So, you know, it, it looks like there is a tiny bit more room here. A tiny bit more room here than the um, tiny bit more room than the Hack Wilson. The sides, uh, not too much space, a tiny, tiny bit. And pretty snug here. So I'd say that, you know, if it's going to be min size at all, it's going to be min size top to bottom here. All right. So let's look at this really closely one more time. 
and let's compare it one more time to that, just the Hack Wilson in the same spot. I'd say it's similar, but I think it's clear that the Mel Ott has more, has more, has more space. Um, and maybe justifies the min size here. So we got this, this. All right, you guys let me know what you think. That might be enough. I mean, I'm not an expert on min size stuff. This card is the 1951 Liebig um, depicting... Uh, I think I think it's clear, Ted Williams. You know, the, the front is really, really nice. It's really nice. Let's see, can I get... There might be a little something there. A little something there. Tiniest of surface creases. Or is, or is that... Hold on one second. Is that the card or the case? This is zoomed into that same area. So I don't see it zoomed in, oddly enough. A little bit of discoloration here, I think. But otherwise, it has a really nice appeal to it. Um, right there. It's like a little paper loss right there. I think that's the biggest problem right there and right here. I think that's what did this card in. So this is the Ted Williams Liebig 1.5. So if you have interest in a trade, let me know. And then here we have the uh, Diamond Stars Jimmy Fox. And uh, it's a one. I think it's a nice one, but it's a one, you know. Um, has a little creasing here, a little surface. But the image looks, you know, I think it's nice for a one. And that's why I got it. Um, you know, on the one scale, it's nice, in my opinion. Oh, this is what... <laughs> Oh, wow. this is this is this the now, now I remember why I got a one. Um, so anyway, the back is a bit. I would say this is a miscut with a little writing on the back. So um, yeah, so that's why that's why we're dealing with a one here. So uh, yeah, let me know if you're interested in either car. Just leave a comment for a trade, and uh, we'll take it from there. And also let me know your thoughts on the at card. If you've, particularly if you kind of dealt with um, min size grading cards, if you just have an educated opinion on it, I think most people in the hobby uh, do. So let me know your thoughts. We'll see that. Let me see that. Just for fun. All right.